We're in our sixth video. We've looked at the spiritual lessons that Paul wants to learn or that God wanted Paul to learn. Paul realized he was in a lifelong school of learning. And what really impresses me about what Paul was learning are the things that they accused Paul of. We talked about the last time that he took up offerings for the churches and that he wanted to make sure that he had an acceptable appearance in handling money, in handling ministry. But um, they began to say certain things about him. They said that when he collected money, he robbed the churches. That they criticized him with being so with money that, oh, he doesn't need that kind of money. He's just robbing the churches. You know, people sometimes can distort what we do. That makes it hard. They even said of Paul in 2 Corinthians, his enemies, that his letters are weighty. He writes great letters, good writer, but his personal presence is weak and unimpressive. His speech is contemptible. Um, that must have really hit Paul. They consider him, as we've just said, robbed the churches. His personal presence was weak. He was learning these spiritual lessons. Uh, you know, when you think of the apostles, you often put them on a pedestal. When they wrote, they were inerrant, of course, but they were also human. And God had to teach them through their humanity that they were weak. In Second or in Acts chapter, I think it's chapter eighteen. Let me make sure, uh, or it's twenty. When Paul was um, with Eutyches. Uh, Eutyches was listening to Paul and it said there that Paul was so long in that that Eutyches actually fell asleep and fell out the window And probably died, but Paul put his hands on him and he was raised up. So when Paul began to preach, I often get a little bit of laughs when preachers think that the longest sermon is the best sermon. No, you can put people to sleep, but Paul had to realize in these weaknesses of what people said about him. He robbed the churches. His personal presence was weak that God was teaching him even when people fell asleep on him. I often joke, if someone falls asleep on me, that's okay. Wake them up for the offering. I'm kidding. But that we need to realize in our weakness, in the lifelong school of learning, that God is teaching us uh, how we depend upon him and use his power for what he does. And so I think that that story of he robbed the churches and um, how his personal presence are weak, but his letters are great. All of these enemies that did these things to poor Paul, God was using those things to teach him the spiritual lessons that when he's weak, when he's criticized when he's found in difficult situations so that even Eutyches in Acts falls asleep and drops out the window that God brought forth in his weakness 
God brought forth the power of God's great strength, and therefore he says, there is the spiritual heart of the lesson of First and Second Corinthians. It says there that in his weakness, Paul learned the perfection of God's power to help him. That's, those are not easy lessons to learn, but Paul learned those lessons and that's why God put him through the lifelong school of learning in First and Second Corinthians.